Do you miss me at all? Do you think Hey there everyone and welcome. I am so glad that you're here for this exciting dining room makeover. If you are new, my name is Lisa. I am so glad that each and every one of you are here watching today. I have been working on this project for a while now. I've had it completed, but editing has taken so much longer. I had a lot of footage and the video is longer than I normally put out, but I wanted to put it all in one video for you guys and not break it up. So it took some creative editing skills. It stretched me and grew me and I love that. And I hope that y'all will stick around and watch through the whole video and show it a lot of love. Taking the extra time to prep your project properly makes it go so much faster in the long run. It also ensures that you get a professional, high quality job that looks great. You spend a lot of time, money, and effort on projects like this, so you want it to turn out the best that it can. I am using Sherwin-Williams Emerald Paint in the color Sandbar on my walls. I am using a one inch angled brush made for latex paint for my cutting in. Something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should I have this well loved bucket that I buy these plastic liners for. It is the bucket that I pour paint in and it's handy to get on and off the ladder for cutting in work. I'm using this spackle. I love it. It goes on pink and it dries white so that you know when it's ready to paint over. I have an orange peel texture to my walls so I don't have to sand it down. It fits seamlessly into the grooves of the texture and you can't even tell where I have patched the holes. I absolutely love Sherwin-Williams Emerald Paint. It is thick and good quality. It is a latex paint that has a primer and stain blocker built into the paint. So unless you are going over a really, really dark color, one coat is usually all that you need. I chose the color Sandbar because it is a light tan color with very slight green undertones to it. I was hoping that it would work with the Venetian plastered ceiling that I already have because it has green undertones, 
but in the end it did not match and look good so I painted my ceiling as well and it turns out great so you'll want to stick around for that but sandbar works well in lit rooms it claims that it can be heavy in dark or north facing rooms my dining room has a south facing window and is flooded with light so it worked really good in here it looks beautiful i suggest getting sample pots from your paint store and trying the color if you're unsure i tend to just get the color i think i'm gonna like and put it up there it is paint it is relatively inexpensive for a makeover if i hate it i can redo it it's just an investment of time but I ended up loving Sandbar and it looks wonderful in this room. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think as we go along. I love to hear from you in the comments. y'all watch me paint the entire room that would be so boring kind of like watching paint dry <laughs> there's a lot of up and down up and down from the ladder reloading the paint you can see here I'm visiting with my boys as well while I work We are growing here on my channel and in our community and I am thankful to each of you that took the time to hit that red subscribe bar. All of you that come back and watch video after video, anybody that's new and stopping by to watch for the first time, whether it's one or 1,000, I am so appreciative of each and every one of you. It means so much to me to have you here. So my name is Lisa and I am a stay-at-home wife and I am the mother to two older boys as you can see that was my youngest son here on my channel it is a fun inspiring motivating community I try to make all my videos uplifting energizing and inspiring I want you to leave feeling better than when you came whether you are motivated to do one small cleaning task in your home or if you're inspired to take on a whole room makeover on a budget like this dining room makeover. I want to be here for that source of encouragement. I believe in you even if you don't believe in yourself. So stick around if you enjoy positive, upbeat attitudes because that's what we have here. The community is so kind and welcoming to everyone. Whether you have it all together or are barely holding on by a thread, there is a place for you here at Uniquely Lisa.
This is my ceiling paint. It is Sherwin-Williams Duration in Elusive Green. They were out of my beloved emerald paint, so I went with the Duration. The Duration paint has a primer in it, but no stain blocker. I was promised that it would be good, and it turned out working great. I was afraid I would have to do two coats to cover the Venetian plaster, but one coat did it all. This elusive green has gold and green undertones, but in my space after it dried, it looks more like a dark gray. It goes really, really well with the sandbar walls. For the walls, I chose a satin finish. For the ceiling, I wanted a flat finish, but they were out of it, so I chose matte, which is one sheen up from flat. I was afraid the matte finish would disguise the ridges and imperfections of the Venetian plaster, which is what I love about the ceiling, but it didn't. The ceiling still has the texture and quality that makes it special and unique. My husband, 19 years ago when we moved into this house, scraped wallpaper that was on this curved ceiling in our dining room, and he then hand plastered and and scraped the plaster to give it the look I am now covering up. It made my heart really sad to cover up all his hard work, but he and I both agreed. After 19 years, an upgrade was needed, and it turned out so good that we couldn't be sad. One thing this dining room makeover needed was new lighting. The can lighting was original to the home being built in 1995, so we swapped those out for these LED soft white lights. I had to go back and paint around them because they were smaller, but it's going to be a wonderful upgrade, as is the new chandelier that I will show you here soon. In order to be able to move my china hutch, I had to empty it out and I had to do all of this so that I could paint the wall that the china hutch was on. This in and of itself was a pretty big and monumental task. Since I had the hutch emptied and I had to move it to paint the wall, I just decided to rearrange the entire layout of my room and that is going to make this dining room makeover even more fantastic and wonderful. I am giving it a good polish and shine before I put all of my wedding china and crystal back into the china cabinet. I am going to be redoing the way I had it arranged inside. I'm also taking the opportunity to purge and get rid of a few things as well. down and you're 10 feet underground when you're so deep you're about to drown when you're in the lost and found cause heartaches only last a day
After all the work of painting the room and the ceiling, staging it and decorating it is the fun part. This is where all of my ideas and inspirations come to life and I am so excited the way it is looking so far. I hope that you are all still here watching and that you are enjoying the video. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That lets not only me, but YouTube know that you enjoy this video. It will push it out to more people. I would have done this makeover with or without my YouTube channel, but I have worked so hard on the editing and to get the thumbnail and description just right that I want as many people as possible to enjoy it.
is so satisfying to me at least to pull the tape after a painting project. It kind of is the culmination of all the hard work and you're finally to the point where you can see it coming together and the light at the end of the tunnel. So we are just going to take a minute to pull up all the tape. We're going to put our light switch and socket plates back on and then it's going to be time to put our new chandelier up and decorate our space, get everything put back together. You'll divide the world in two and the song is just for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. updated look for y'all of how everything is right now the old chandelier is still up my husband is about to switch that out all the tape is gone everything's clean the china hutch is put together because of that big move and the mess that made we are getting a new rug and I went shopping in my house to get some decor for the walls my big gold mirror is going back up on this wall I love that. That was a gift from my precious in-laws when we bought our very first house. And so it's another sentimental piece I'm not sure I can ever part with. I found some Pottery Barn chandeliers that I fell in love with. But you can see from these pictures, they were so expensive. But I found a dupe that looked almost identical. It gave the same look that I was going for. And it was less than $80. Y'all, it was good quality. Now, the electrical cord was black. So I did paint that gold so it would disappear in the chain. But for under $80, I do not mind doing that at all. So let me know in the comments what you think of this awesome find on Amazon for a bargain. It makes budget decorating so good to find deals like this.
My next great find was this area rug from Walmart. It is an 8x10 area rug. And if you shop at Walmart and don't have the app, get it. Because on the app, this rug was like $25 cheaper than the in-store price. And they will price match for you at Walmart if it is on their official Walmart app. I got this huge area rug that ties the whole room together, gives it a fresh modern look, but still is relevant with my traditional dining room furniture because I was not going to go buy new dining room furniture. I got this rug for $170.70 after tax. They price matched it down to $157.69. This rug was good quality it's not super super thick but but this is not a high traffic area it does not need to last for ages and ages my kids are older like I said we don't have the spills and the messes that you would have with young kids for the price and the look it was exactly what I wanted it doesn't pick up on camera. I didn't even realize it until we walked outside with the rug. There are hints of pink in it. It is absolutely beautiful and it comes in multiple sizes. So don't discredit Walmart for rugs. They had a really great offering here and it was in store. I was able to look at it, touch it and see it. And I always like that. the rug down with the table here was a chore it took my husband my son and myself doing it you definitely need help if you want it to be easier now I am getting their help with the heavy lifting I'm moving the furniture back in and we're gonna get everything staged decorated and in place I am so thankful for all of you that are still here watching at this moment like I said in the beginning, this is a longer video than I normally put out and I am glad that y'all are here for it. I wasn't really loving the way this wall was looking. This is an antique side table that I got from my uncle years and years ago. He gifted that to us when we got our first house and had <laughs> no furniture in our dining room. And I love it. It's, it's a great little piece. So what I did was I left it as is for a few days and as I walked in and out of the space and around my home seeing if I wanted to move something else or keep this as is, it helped me to decide. It also gave me time to shop my home and find decorations from other places in my house that I was willing to relocate. Take your time, don't rush, that way you get it right and just the way you want it and you don't have to put a lot of new holes into your brand new walls. <laughs> Other than the paint, the rug, and the light fixture, I literally purchased nothing else for this room, but it looks like a whole brand new space. The paint alone was the total transformation in this dining room makeover, but then rearranging the furniture, redecorating the china and crystal in my china cabinet, and then shopping my home and bringing new life to wonderful pieces that I already owned, I have been able to create this really great transitional, traditional space. I love traditional furniture but I wanted to give it a modern flip on it. So these little updates did that, in my opinion. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. We are so happy with it. And it brings me so much joy when I walk through my dining room now. I see my dining room from where I'm editing at this moment, and I just fall in love with it more and more each time. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You do not have to spend a lot of money, break the bank, 
go over budget and go in debt to have a beautiful home. You can do things on little to nothing. to add something to this back corner but I'm going to wait until I find just the right piece I'm also probably gonna put my Christmas tree in this corner if you weren't here for the very beginning of my channel last year with all my Christmas I do it big I have six Christmas trees they are everywhere so there absolutely will be one in this new dining room space I'm going to give you a little after tour in the light and then also how it looks at night. I love it with the soft glow of my hutch lights on and my accent lights above the ceiling. It's really just a beautiful space and this dining room makeover was a total transformation. It looks like a completely different room in a completely different house. Once again, I am so thankful that you are all here watching today. I hope that you are inspired to try something new in your home, step out of your comfort zone, and do something that is going to spark joy for you. Even if it is just shopping your home and redecorating a new space, without even spending a dime. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up before leaving. And I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar and ring your bell, setting your notifications for future uploads. I have a lot of cleaning motivation. I have some more makeovers coming your way. I have some decluttering, organizing, as well as a lot of great fall content. And I wouldn't want you to miss a minute of it. Don't leave without letting me know in the comments what you think of this total transformation dining room makeover. I am very curious to get your thoughts on it and see what you think of all the changes I made. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.